What's up, peeps? Oh, let me see. Hey guys, I am doing some work on this big booth, Jeter, and I just thought I would come on and go live. It's been a while. I'm in the new salon. I figured, why not? He's doing his face. I haven't done a live in a long time. So this is how I do um, my curly coats and their Asian fusion, that nice little round face that I get. And I learned a lot when I did the Just Rona course. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, I learned a lot when I did the Just Rona Faces course. And the one thing that I learned that I wanted to talk to you guys about and show you in doing this guy's face is that um, when you're combing, so many of us, like, you know, we just kind of bring everything forward. But I learned that if you can fluff up from the sides, then you're going to get a more accurate picture about your shape. All right, so I'm just starting. I've already done it between his eyes a little bit. everybody doing today it's just a one dog day for me Jeter is um it's his first time in the new salon and he is um pretty hard to handle for almost everything except this honestly so I figured um oh the last time he was here he just got a bath and tidy because I had that surgery on my nose but So I'm setting in my shape and my length. Let me see. Your day off today. How short is the sides of his face? This is um, a half an inch here, but I'm gonna use my chunkers. I just took um, some of the bulk off here and under here. It's the same length that I do with the body, but then I'm gonna use my chunkers on the side there to shape more. I did already trim in front of, don't misbehave. He's, if the, anybody's gonna misbehave, it's gonna be this guy. Um, I already did comb all of this down and I trimmed all of the muck. You can see, you know, he's got staining here. Uh -uh. Shh, shh. Just take a little bit more of that out, especially on his flu and around his mouth, it all goes in. So I get that out because it's nasty. And it doesn't look great. These are my Utsumi Super Curves. So I'm just setting in my shape with them. And then I'm gonna use my chunkers and my thinners to do some more refining. Every dog is different and their needs are different. Like in terms of when you asked on the side of the face, you gotta take into structural consideration, lifestyle consideration for the family. Tons, you know, a bunch of stuff. It's just not, length isn't, Uh, the same for all of them. All right, so I want to get my chunkers. These are my uh, Utsumi 6515. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, cat. Yay, what's up, girl? I'm just grooming a very mean doodle, and he is mean. He will, he would just very gladly bite my head off. All right, so now I need to take his chin short before I get started. So under here, I took the half inch. Um, this is another tip from Jess Ronnie. You take like the half inch and a little bit of a V shape. And now I'm gonna start to set in my shape with my chunkers under here. And you wanna take the, the chin kind of short. And always remember, that you're working up 
You want to get that U. Just calls it a U or a smile shape. So I'm working this way from the side. his first time in the new shop. Uh -uh. All right, so I gotta let him go on my own terms or else he wins, because Jeter is that kind of dog that if he wins, then I have to end the live. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Yes, he is. He's a wet face. See that? See those teeth though? That's almost with everything. And nails get done absolutely last because that's what he absolutely hates the most. He's all right. Hey, Evan, what's up? What's up, my friend? He's very sweet. You know what I used on him for the first time? I used, uh -uh. I used um, eye grooms. Uh, speaking of eye groom, you like my jacket? Um, I used Eye Groom's uh, banana shampoo. All right, I don't know if you guys have really, I've, I'm just gonna be honest, I haven't really had much experience with it, but I started using it on Heidi the Doodle, and it's so moisturizing that where, on, where I am, at least where my water is, I don't need any conditioner. So I decided today, because this guy hates baths so much and drying so much, to reduce um, tub and table time. I used the banana and no conditioner, but just um, I used the uh, Magic Mist after to dry him, and his coat is the crispest it's ever been. Like, it's way easy to scissor. So this is my heavy side. I always have a tendency to be longer on my left than on my right because I'm right-handed. So, but I go slow and steady because I don't want to take off too much and screw the whole shape up. Oh, um, Utsumi thinners, I think that includes chunkers, are on sale until the end of the month, 10% off. And then if you use my code, you get another 10% off. And that's a heck of a deal. That is one hell of a deal, isn't it, Jeter? Oh, no, look at that. That guy straightened out and came out, snuck up on me. I'm going to switch to, I haven't done this face or anything yet. I mean his uh, head. Just muzzle work. And you want to do an angle there. Let your shears do the work. You'll be surprised how much hair they'll pull out for you. When you just let your shears do the work. Take it easy. just blending under here with, remember I took under his neck right here um, to a half inch, so now I'm just blending these sides under his chin. Is he gonna fall asleep? Holy shit, that's a first. <laughs> what do we got? 
You love the banana shampoo? I don't use any conditioner. The chunker is um, Utsumi Chunker 6515 Tooth. It's my absolute favorite. Absolutely love it. Thinners are my uh, Speedies, the original Speedies. I need to try the new Speedies. I don't have them yet. All right, so now that I have the muzzle done, all right, I'm going to double check. Remember, take the wide side of your comb. I don't know who we got. Wide side of your comb. Lift it up. All right. When you're fluffing, this is one of the most important things I ever learned, and I learned this from, um, oh God, Cheryl Purcell. Cheryl Purcell came in my old salon and did a seminar, and I learned, this is when I was, I think I'd only been grooming a year and a half, and now it's three years. I learned I was going in and digging, right, when I was fluffing, and every time that I, I would go too deep, I was pushing hair back down, so just stay. Once you know you're combed through, you just need your surface to check your shape. Because you should already be combed through. All right. He's a doodle, but he's got quite a poodle snout. What are you saying, Mr. Man? It's time to do your head. All right, so this is the other part from the just courses that I learned, all right? You're gonna want to lift up everything right above the eye, the first step, all right? So you're coming in and you're gonna angle your shears and you're gonna cut above the eyelash. Go just a little bit past the corner of the eye. This is what gives that really great expression she always gets. It gives you like this little layer, especially when you do it at an angle. So you're sliding in right above the lash and just a little bit past the corner of the eye. Look at that. You gotta open up, open up your eyes for the people. All right, now. Clean in the corner of his eyes a little bit. So I'm gonna do that first. Then I'm gonna comb his head forward. And then you're gonna do a C or a U from the one corner of the eye to the other corner of the eye. I like to use my chunkers. And blend it. blend that into the corner of the eye and then I'm going to take it to the ear in a second. All right, so now my connection is from the corner of the eye over to the ear. And you can come forward. Let your shears bring the hair to the cutting blade. You don't got to dig in there. And I've, I take um, my, whatever I do pop pads with, I always go right in front of the ear to create a nice canal. And you make sure right under the ear as well, because it'll affect how it lays. <laughs> Hair everywhere. It's all so crisp. 
I'm seriously like freaked out about the banana shampoo without conditioner. It's got so much moisture in it, but then it leaves the hair so crisp and I just couldn't believe it. I was, and he's soft coated, so I thought he was gonna tangle or not, but I just kind of did Hail, Hail Mary and went for it. All right, ear back. Putting my cutting blade, bring the hair in. Come on, let the people see. His dad is on the way, which is why I'm not doing so much chatting right now, because I gotta finish him. The only thing left is his face, his pictures, and then nails. That's what I do on this guy, because he gets so freaked out. All right, now I'm gonna take my thinners. And when I save this live, if you guys have questions, um, I'm gonna save the live, so make sure that you re-ask your questions in the post so that I get to them. So you can now see can you see that coming together? I got stuck. That was a close one. I almost dropped my, my babies. And with my dogs, I just literally have my finger. That's it. That's all the holding I'm doing. I don't grab them half by the chin. Most of my dogs are just totally fine with me placing my finger right under the chin and holding them that way. Hi, Amy. So if you guys have questions, make sure you save them. I mean that you um, put them in the post when I post this, because I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna come right here and blend below his eye, move my shear up. Make sure that cheek you don't want to take it too tight under the eye, but you got to make sure you have a good shape. Make sure my cheek is nice and tight as well. Okay. I need to blend here. So yeah, that fluffing technique that I learned from Cheryl Purcell was like one of the best, it was like a light bulb moment for me. I was like, oh, I keep pushing the hair in. That's my problem. And everything, because everything was coming out uneven, uneven when I was doing my scissor work, you know? All right, top time. Not taking any length off his ears. Dad asked that they stay this long today. All right, and now we're just going to work on the top of his head and the back of his neck because the half inch, you can see, hope you can see there's like a shelf right here. I need to blend this because I took a half inch here. Now I need to blend the back of his head and that's where I'm going to start. So I just put my hand gently here, pull this head down. So I can just take off this bulk and blend into the neck. That's my one, also another bad habit, blowing the coat. I think one piece of a good advice I ever got from somebody who used to work for me was, if you're competing, do not ever blow because the person next to you will want to kill you. I think that was the best thing I might have learned during that experience. That's about it. Look at it from 
small angles. I hope I'm not. All right, so I don't know if you can see. Now I'm gonna start to do my work from the front. I love my Utsumi half moon comb. All right, I gotta lower him a teeny bit. That's the one thing about this table is that um, I have to go to the other side to lower it because I don't have what you call it's on both sides. Let's see, can we still see him? Come here. If you have any questions, um, you can ask. I don't know if I'll see him. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. I am really enjoying it. How do I blend under the chin? I always find it stands out. Well, you have to make sure what you do is, I took my, his whole body is a half inch, and now it's blended, but initially I took the clipper, you make like a V, and then you'll have it hanging off on the side. And then I take chunkers on the curly coats, and then you just blend that. Don't be afraid to go short. It needs to be short for the Asian fusion look. And then, I just don't want him to bite. He might bite. I'm turning him, pulling a little bit so I can thin out this flu area. Thanks for pointing that out to me. It's just a matter of how you hold your shears, um, making sure that you're getting that shape. If you go flat, the whole thing just makes him look old. All right, I gotta get this top on. All right, so now that I did my U, now I'm going to just skim over the top of his head. And I don't want him to be too round, so I always come, now I don't start looking outside. I always come forward across the top first. This is how I do it. Everybody's different. I think the, the round, too round of a top knot um, is better for the females. on the doodles. So the males, I like to make the top flatter. It's less feminine. And then they're still okay with you given their dog and Asian fusion style. Because they don't look too poodly. You can shake the ears to get the boof. You see what I mean about coming flat? I hope I'm not in the way. I'm trying not to be. But on my chunkers, there's my cutting blade. So I'm letting that pull the hair into the teeth. You gotta let your shears do the work. You could use, um, the scissoring spray, but that banana shampoo has left him so crisp, I really don't need to. All right, now I'm gonna check in this angle. I'm gonna make sure everything's even in this angle. Check this side. Cheer says, bitch, I've had it with you. I have to hurry and get off here because I gotta be able to take his pictures and do his nails before dad comes. Back. 
from each side. And then finally, the front, because that's the money maker. Oh, shit. I just got these amazing, uh, they're chef mats. They're from David Burke, I think. Let me see. No, I can't remember who, but anyway, they're super, super soft. So I'm not worried that I just dropped my shears because they just went like a feather. side because then you're not pushing hair down towards the muzzle. I'm just going to fix the shape because now that it's had a little chance to get some of its curl back, just want to make sure it's perfect. What do you think? What do you think? Cheater's face! And no, he doesn't want his ears done today. So that's Jeter. And he's quite a pill. I'm about to get my butt kicked doing his nails after I take his pictures. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to get his pictures done. And got all my shears, all my Utsumi in my Utsumi case. Yeah, all of them except one. These are not Utsumis. These are shark teeth I got with like a Sharon Bell dryer a while ago. But everything else goes in my Utsumis and then I'm gonna sanitize everything. And then I also stick my little half moon in there as well. And there's a belt loop that comes with this too. It's my favorite. I keep them all in there. I don't hang them up. What do you think, Jeter? Let's look at the comments before we go. How do I have it in the chin? Got that one. Hi, Nicole. Jeannie! <laughs> What's up? Um, I, um, I, I, Maria, I think it is. I only use Utsumi shears because that's my preference. Everybody's different, but I find that the, the cut is amazing. You can't beat it. Um, for me, they're super sharp. They, you know, just the, 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 the fit of them, it fits my hand well, um, where the finger sets are. So I am hands down an Utsumi girl. And, oh, chunkers, those are um, Utsumi chunkers, the 6515. All right, any other questions? I'm gonna get his um, bow tie, so hold on. You guys can stay here. When I get his book, which is right here. So I am in arm's reach of the dog. I just want everybody to know that. Here is my big bucket. What do you think? What do you want to pick out? I haven't, I haven't saved in this one. Yeah? Because dad's a Yankees fan. And this matches his collar, which is a Yankees collar. I'm a Red Sox girl personally. But check this out. This is new from Bardell Bowes. I got this in my Club Audacious box. The subscription. He knows. He knows. It's time. Huh. You know. See, look at me how handsome I am. And my eyes are nice and open. And my muzzle's round. And Auntie got all of the gunk out of my mouth. Huh. I trim around my lips. Trimmed around my eyes. My hair is nice and crisp from the banana shampoo. I'm just stunned. Um, it's phenomenal. All right, 
and everybody gets couture here at Creative Canines, so check out that. Can you see? Let me raise them up. Let me raise you up. I'll raise you up. I'll grab my palm mat. Then I put my palm mat under. Lift up. Lift up. Because this guy, he hates green so much he'd tear it up. So I take it off for him. All right, Jeter, sit. Let everybody see. Sit. Sit. You don't want to sit? No. He hates it. <laughs> this guy hates to be groomed. All right. Um, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments because I'm about I'm gonna save this, okay? And I love this bow tie. It's got like a little sheen to it. Gotta love barred elbows. All right, because now he's gonna bite my face off when I do nails. Love you guys. Bye.